we're back with some SP on Nintendo vs TDK. This match doesn't actually matter, but let me just uh, rewatch the first the few turns. So we see TDK brings some offense, and yeah, Nintendo pretty much brings balance. Bishop gets up rocks. Interesting set. Let's go. I think went for U turn here. Yeah, I know it just got up rocks too. It was on a different turn, but it went for U turn. It went for U turn on this turn. Maybe predicting it to be Zardex from Nintendo's side. Not to sh. I guess he didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he breaks that X. And we see, uh, I could see this being like Life Up Torn or AV Torn, obviously. So, um, Knockoff's probably gonna come out or. Did he Hurricane? No, he knocked off. So, Zard just gets 2 hit kill, it's Life Up Torn. The next Knockoff should kill, even if it's. If it's Zard X, it might not kill. No, I think it should kill, even if it's Zard X. So yeah, TDK is on the Raiders and Nintendo is on the Tigers. The Tigers only made playoffs and I'm still recording this. Let me guys know if you want to see the other games too. I will probably record a few. Uh, the Ray Scarface game will be interesting to see if Ray Scarface stays undefeated later on. And he's playing like two hours or three hours. So yeah, the, the score is like two and I think because he just won the Gen 2 game, the GC game. So the score was like, I think it's three and seven now. The Raiders have been doing so well the entire season, and now they lost in playoffs. As it's Zardex, but I think okay, he didn't want to risk the knockoff not killing. I think it still would have killed. It would have been a roll, I think. And but yeah, he just risked the hurricane hits it. You can go for knock on a Jirachi. Um, I could see this. Never mind. We went for rocks with the lander, so it's probably Scarf Jirachi here. Yeah. So Nintendo can go to Slowbro here. Oh, Heatran, yeah. He had a lot of potential switch ins there, so TDK makes the aggressive, quote unquote aggressive play. I guess he had to make that play. Like, there's no way Nintendo was um, staying in an Iron Head, I guess. So I agree with you turning there. can bring ours. Um, do we know anything about the feature here? We don't. So it could be Scarf Tren or Lefties with a uh, Magma Storm. I guess it could be the. Yeah, the Magma Tren. Doesn't the Magma Tren run Lefties in ours? Ah, uh, it could be. It could be Solar Beam. It could be the Solar Beam third. Yeah, it could also be a Scarf one because he goes for Sucker Punch to get damage on this. And um, I think, yeah, Scarf Tron runs Fire Blast, so that would make sense. So this could be Belly Drum Azu. Would make a lot of sense, because um, it's like HO. You see that type of Azu, a lot of on offense. He doubles out. Okay, I don't know what he predicted there. <laughs> Nintendo just went for Fire Blast again. Damn. So okay, he picks off the Tren. With the Aqua Jet, so he, I guess he could be banned then. I mean, I'm pretty sure that would have killed the train either way, even if it's not banned, but. Couldn't he have gone for Belly Drum if it was Belly Drum? But nah, Belly Drum doesn't do anything because the Ladius lives a hit. The Ladius is, yeah. I understand that he didn't want to go for Belly Drum that early because the Ladius is too healthy. So Jet only does like, I don't know the roll, but I think it does like 70 or 80. Like 80, I think, the Ladius. Maybe a bit less, and I th also Mega Scissor might live a hit if it's defensive. And yeah, the Rachi is pretty obvious. It's Scarf Rachi. Drago would have done like s high 30s or 30s, um, but yeah, Psyche did nothing obviously because Photon Resist is set. We see the Jirachi U turn out into Lando, and what is this said? Wait, what did he get a Rocks? Oh, he got a Rocks with Bishop, so it's HPS Landers, and HPS Landers and Auras is wild. With Life Orb, that is specifically the beats with Death Glasgow and opposing Landris, I assume. And yeah, it obviously hits, does a lot of damage to Guard Charm. That knockoff did so much. Good God. So, this is not more. It's not that special attack investment, I feel, because that knockoff did so much. This thing has still a lot of attack investment. 
But yeah, it's looking good. Pretty, pretty, I think Nintendo pretty much has this uh, game wrapped up. I mean, I feel like this was kind of bad matchup for TDK. It's a fast-paced game, though. Definitely enjoy those a bit more than uh, full Stall Wars. As yeah, he revealed his Belladrum Azu, but like I said, the Larios is too healthy, so this doesn't win unless he crits. Actually, no, nah, nah, the Lari might be in range after another Rock Switch in, but uh, I'm not sure. So Scizor, Scizor probably is defensive then if Nintendo brings out the Scizor. So Lari might actually drop at, it's like at 76 after rocks, so that might be a roll. If it's Adamant Azure, there's some people run Jolly Azure at speed. Rotoms that don't run speed. Or just in general. Rotoms that only run a little bit of speed. Yeah, Lali might die to Jet of Ferox, but... So I guess TDK can still win, but... Depends if this Azo can live a bullet punch, so... Like, I think this Azo needs um, a good amount of HP investment to live a bullet punch. As yeah, it doesn't live it and this game is over, but... It actually was kind of close, even though it looks like... It's like a 4-0, and TDK forfeits, but... If Azul lived that TDK would have would have won pretty much if the like the Lari might have been a roll or hmm. everything else would have died like slower to a knockoff or play rough. There's the other things the Jed and yeah. Okay, some Tony said it didn't kill Lari. Okay, I thought he posted the Kalk in the chat. Plus 6 Adamant, um, Aqua Jet vs. Lari does 63 to 74. So, yeah, it comes out at 76. And even if Shodan rounds down to 75, it still lives. Um, so, yeah, TK loses with Nintendo. And um, the game didn't matter, just for fun. Want to record this for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Not the best analysis for my part here. This is because I came in like a few turns after. Uh, if I don't come in on team preview and have time to think about the the turns, it's not at optimal most of the times. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll definitely record a race Garface game versus P2 and what else? What else? That's basically it. I might record CL vs Jirachi for black and white, but other than that, that's it. And peace out, friends.